guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the human hair and knotless braids so we want to start off by just laying our hair out on a rack like I just showed you guys and then you want to section out your piece of knotless braid that you want to do and you start off by just doing a simple plait you can plait like one or two times and then after your second plait you then want to take a piece of the straight hair and you add that in and then you can plait it again and then collect that piece that's loose and then add in another piece of hair and then plait it again. So with this technique, you don't necessarily have to plait your hair once or twice or three times. Typically, I plait my hair between one to two times before adding in a new piece of hair. It's really up to you um, what you think is best. Um, it really doesn't matter. Um, so as I add in the pieces of hair, and I think I added about three to five pieces per braid because this is my small, medium, this is my small, knotless braid size. So I didn't need to add in a lot of hair. And as I'm braiding, I'm using the edge wax, um, edge control to help sleek the hair down because you want something that can help you seamlessly do the braid so that way you're not able to tell the difference between the client's hair and, and the braiding hair. So here I'm gonna braid all the way down to the end and then when I get to the end is where I'm gonna add the curly hair. And with the curly hair, it can be human hair or it can be synthetic hair. It doesn't really matter. The technique stays the same. Um, so once I, get, once I get here to the end, I'm going to cut off the very end. And I do this because I don't want that part to clash with the curly hair. So I want to cut off the end to where I want the braid to stop and the curly hair to start. And then once I cut it off, I'm going to use products to braid it down again. So that way it's everything is seamless and kind of flushes in together. And I'm going to add my curly hair. And with the curly hair, we're only going to be using two pieces per braid. Um, when I add it in, I'm going to braid down just a little bit. And once I braid down a little bit, I'm then going to go back in and add another piece. And then braid it all the way down to where the straight pieces of hair end. And just, you wanna use products, guys. Don't use too much, but some products is definitely needed in order to, in order for this to be a seamless um, transition. And also when you get down to the end, we're just gonna put a knot on the braid by taking a small, very small piece of hair, of curly hair, and knotting it about three to five times. And after knotting it, I'm gonna take that same piece of hair and do another type of knot. And this is very important that you knot your hair because if you don't, this can unravel and your curly ends are just gonna be disappearing on you, falling out on you. So make sure you do this part. And also, I wanna say that, you know, when you do this, this style is gonna last you for so long. You don't have to worry about your hair falling out and you don't have to worry about gluing, burning, and doing all sorts of stuff that a lot of people will actually show you to do on YouTube. This is the best way to do it and your hair will stay together. So after knotting it, you want to then go back in and trim off all the little hairs that are sticking out. And after doing that, at the very end, you're going to dip um, your braids and it's going to look amazing when you dip it. Like all those little flyaways that you see at the very end will disappear once you dip it. And I have another video up on exactly how to dip the Bohemian Knotless Braids. So I'm going to put that video up here. I'm also going to put it in my description box. And I'm going to put the time, time stamp for you guys so that you know exactly where to go to watch that part. Because I do not show me dipping these braids in this video. So here I'm just redoing the process again and I'm gonna do it a couple more times because I just really want you guys to get a good understanding of what I'm doing and the best way you can learn is by watching and practicing literally this is very easy self-explanatory you just need to watch and follow along so I will meet you guys at the end of the video
So this is my finished result guys this style is so beautiful my client absolutely loved it and also by the way I am located in Dallas Texas so if you want me to do your hair I can do that as well and please follow me on Instagram and just support your girl but thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.